Alabama. If we if we continue staying on the air, we will continue announcing that. You got a long time friend. Got a what? A long time friend. A long time friend. I got one. You got one. Mr. Marshall Pope has been friends for a while. His dad and I, Mr. Rufus Pope, go way back to wherever. We may have come over with Noah. I don't know, but they've been long time friends. And, and Mr. Marshall, hey, welcome. Well. I, I contacted Mr. Marshall this week and I said, would you like to be on our show? We thought at that time it might be the final show. Now we don't know for sure. It, it may not be the final show. We may continue if we get everything worked out. But Mr. Marshall has written several, seven books. And his last book, and I'm probably going to screw up the title. <laughs> Tell him what it is. Telelista. Telelista. Telelista is a Greek word for it is finished. My final inspiration, my seventh book. Doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm not going to write anything else because I'm going to continue writing as long as God keeps inspiring me. And I'm also going to continue with my post-inspiration mission. But it just means that for now, this is my final book. I, I made a promise to God that I was going to write seven books, and that's exactly what I've done. I wrote seven books. Now, July the 9th, my son was killed. Devastating. Andrew Gary Pope. It rocked our whole world. But I want to say a special thanks to Detective Williamson. He promised my wife and I justice, and he truly kept his word. The killer was apprehended and arrested. And, uh, I don't know all the details, you know, to what happened. I just heard it was a fight and it ended with my son being shot in the back. But we're still reeling from that and still coming back from that. And, and this book almost did not get released because of that. But I felt, my, I felt my son would want me to continue inspiring people, even though he's not here. You know, and, and dealing with the pain inspired me to continue writing also. And, and our Heavenly Father allowed my son to speak through my pen to give my wife and I alone with his baby sister Chantel a little comfort. I really felt my son's spirit as I wrote this poem and I'm going to recite it. My son speaks. From heaven my son speaks through my pen and says, Pop, don't worry I made it in. Tell mom there's nothing she could have done. It was already written my life would end. I was told I would be betrayed by the angel Gabriel as his word became my final post. Despite my early demise, stay positive, Mama and Pop, because one day soon I will see Sister and you both. I felt no pain from the bullets because the Archangel Michael shielded me. He who throw rocks and hide his hands will be exposed because in due season God will reveal who killed me. In my 23 years, I enjoyed every moment to the fullest of my borrowed time. Pop, I know you are angry, but I ask you to allow God to be the prosecutor in this crime. Tell Mama don't cry so much and try to get some sleep because I too may rest in peace. Tell sister I love her and I miss her, but in her heart I will forever speak. Pop, I never seen you cry to now, but every soul must one day weep. Continue to be an inspiration to the world, and thank you for allowing me to speak. Tell Mama, Uncle Hook, and Granddad are here with me, therefore I am not alone. You always said I was an angel, Pop, and you was right. I'll see you all again when you come home. I love you, Mama, and sister, and smile at how many pretend they love me. Pop, let my words speak for my speak to my frenemies from the cradle to the grave, only God can judge me. What a boy, what a boy. Yeah, his spirit helped me to write that poem, man. And I put it inside my seventh book, matter of fact, page 63. Marshall, we was there through this. Uh, we uh, did everything we knew to do. Yeah. You don't know what to do in a situation like this. That's right. All you can do is just be there for the people. That's right. That's all you can do. That's right. You don't know why things happen in life like they do, but uh, there has to be a reason. Yeah. And I've always been told that uh, God doesn't make mistakes. You say, well, did God kill him? No, God allowed it to happen. He could have probably stopped it if he wanted to. But we don't understand it. We don't understand it. And I also want to thank you for your support, you know, during that terrible time because it was rough, you know. For my wife and, and my whole family, we want to thank you. You was, you was wonderful. You've been our friend. Yeah. I appreciate you taking time to be with us tonight. Any anything you'd like to share with the people about? You know, if you'd like, right quick, tell them this camera right here. You're the name of your other books. If you uh, remember, right offhand. Uh -huh, struggles of love. Who am I? Is my life story and invisible shackles, and and blind faith 
and Teardrops of Inspiration and Taylor Lista are my final inspiration. Great. There's not a lot of authors that write that many books. Yeah. You're, you're marketing them. If you want to tell the folks how they can get them, you're certainly welcome. Yes. Amazon.com. You can go on Amazon.com, put my name in, and all, and, all my, and all seven of my books are up here. And also, you can go on Facebook and send me a, send me a message or send me an email, marshallpope at bellsouth.net. And uh, should I go off the air without saying a, a rap? You can say a rap. Okay. You got to take the good with the bad, the bitter with the sweet. I'm about it, so don't doubt it. Who can do it like me? I came up from the bottom without a dime. I grabbed the whole world's attention by forgetting the one rhyme. They give me mine and forget to mess up in the process. I'm the truth, you know me. They call me a prophet. I can read your future and expose your past. I'm coming back like Jesus and I'm built to last. I learned the game from years of listening to pop. So respect my mind, because I can outthink your whole block. <laughs> Marshall, thank you, man. Thank, thank you, you for your friendship. Thank you. Gotta go to thank gotta go to a break and we'll come back from words of wisdom from Delane Barton, Mayor Barton's son. <laughs> <laughs> I